Amy. Amy. Yeah. How do you Amy? 39. 39? Yeah. What's your current situation? You homeless out there? I'm homeless, yeah. Sorry to hear that. How long have you been homeless? Um, five years. Five years. How did you, like, you know, first become homeless? I left domestic violence so because I walked away from a house from someone that beat me, so I intentionally made myself homeless. So to hear that. So that was like five years ago? Yeah. Okay. Have you received any help since? I get help from connections in a day, but yeah. it's hard because I've got a dog. And uh, so it's just hard finding someone that I can take her. Oh, you have a dog? Yeah. Where's your dog? She's my boyfriend at the minute. Okay. So you have a new partner? Yeah. Is he homeless as well? Yeah. Okay. How long have you two been running the streets together? Um, three years now. Three years? Yeah. Okay. Is it dangerous out here? Yeah. What kind of things have you done for you? Um, I've had people trying to drag me into cars. I've had a man try dragging me out to rape me, and uh, it's it's just horrible out here. I don't feel safe. I've had people um, weighing on me when I'm sleeping. I've had friends that tend to set a light. It's, it's, it's I don't sleep at night anymore. If, if I sleep at night time, I don't. I sleep in the day because it's safer. When it comes to like sleeping at night time. You don't have to say the location, but where do you try to sleep? Um, there's a hostel, or oh, it's a hotel. I have to deal with it um, for COVID, uh, so we pay eighteen pounds. We stay there for eighteen pounds. If not, we're out here. What do you do to survive out here when it comes to like getting money? I have to beg. It's degrading. <laughs> How that usually go for you? <laughs> Sometimes it's good, sometimes bad. What's the most amount of money you've made from that bag? Um, well, a day, about a hundred pounds. Hundred pounds? Yeah. When you made a hundred pounds on that day, what did you do with the money? I spent it on food and it's just the way to sleep. Dog food. So. How long have you been out here tonight? I saw you like before the interview was like crying. <laughs> yeah, up today I've been out all day. Sorry? I've been out all day. You've been out all day? Yeah. Yeah. What was life like before you became homeless? Did you have like a good job? I was a fitness instructor. Sorry? I was a fitness instructor. A fitness instructor? Yeah. And uh, do you feel like it kind of went all downhill because of the abusive relationship with you? Yeah, I'd be dead now if I'd have stayed there. So, they haven't like given you any help in terms of like when it comes to getting a home? Not really, no. It's not, it's not simple. Um, it's hard because a lot of the night shelters are either full or the place that you can take a dog, they're full and it's just waiting there. I don't see like you made yourself intentionally homeless. Yeah, because I left an abusive part. I left my house with an abusive part of it. So he has the property. Yeah. Have you, have you like told the police about the case? Yeah. They don't do anything to help us. Have they done anything? Not really, no. How does that make you feel knowing that <laughs> I don't you're trust not them. support? I don't trust uh, them. You don't trust them? I don't trust services, no. <laughs> What do you feel like they could do for you in this situation? They could help us, but how would they um, support us? Instead of judging us and looking down on us, it's like, we need to help. Like, these places are empty, like, they could give it to us. Do you have any family around? No. Where are you originally from? Croydon. Croydon? Yeah. Okay, so that's like South London. Yeah. Where are your family? Um, my mum's dead. So it is. And my dad lives with my stepmom in um, Rygate. But I can't, like, my dad doesn't know the situation, so I actually can't go there. Does he know you're out here homeless? No. Did you tell him? No. Are you, like, scared? No, I just, it would hurt him.
Do you have any kids? No. Do you feel like maybe if you like to tell your father, he'll give you a hand? No. If he's had my hands. No. What was your childhood like? Um, not right. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Um, Did you have a good childhood? Yeah, up until I was about 14 and I got abused and then it just went downhill from there really. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. If you could have like maybe like three wishes, what would they be? Um, to, be to live, a job, just to be happy. What would be your dream job? I want to be a counsellor. Sorry? I want to be a counsellor. Counsellor? Yeah. What's the inspiration behind that? Because of what I've been through, I want to stop other people going through it and just... There needs to be someone out there that we can talk to and it's not... So I just want to help people, I don't know. I just want to help people. Do you take any drugs? No. When it comes to like, you know, living on the streets, have you been like introduced to anything? Obviously, like, it's around, but no, um, it's never really interested me. Um, like, I think I have a drink now and then, but I don't get drunk, I can't help it. Um, it's just, I just never went down that route. Okay. What about, like, alcohol? Do you see you have an addiction? No, I have a drink probably once a month and I don't get drunk. Oh, okay. I don't like getting drunk. That's good. What, do you have any advice for you know, women that are going through like domestic violence, how do you, like, what would you say to them? Just get out, <laughs> just get out, but I feel like you yeah. can. One day you can't. Just, just, just leave it, I'll just get away from it. Do you have any last words? Thank you for sharing your story.